new strains of climate-resilient crops are being tested. Recognizing the scarcity of certain foods during the dry or rainy season, the Ministry of Agriculture has invested in six new varieties of crops. The crops will first be tested on the Dottins farm before it can be distributed to farmers. On Wednesday, over 50 extension officers were brought up to speed on the different techniques applicable on growing the new crops. Director of Research and Development in the Ministry of Agriculture, Dr. Malachi Dottin, explains. They adapted to the temperature. They are not adapted to precipitation. They are not adapted to the drought. But they also are not adapted to the pest and disease. And it is in this regard we have introduced varieties that should be adapted to the pest and disease, but importantly to the drought condition. Intercropping is one area Dr. Dutton believes to be crucial in tackling climate change. The extension officers will be briefed on several areas. Today, what they will be doing today is the evaluation, the flower set. Um, they will look at the, the distance because we have respective distance of planting. They evaluate that, but importantly, the pest and disease. Um, the incidence of, of, of pests, if there is them, what are the pests that arrive, and um, which are the varieties doing best with the incidence of pests and disease. That will be the first evaluation. Mm -hmm. We will do it with three respective farmers in three climatical zones. So this is just the pilot test to move now to the respective farmers because you must do it with someone whereby it's all the data are, are taken, but interestingly, all the, the measurements are taken. So we want us to do that first. The varieties are in tomato, cabbages, and peppers, among others. Prior research last year on tomatoes at the Maribo Farm in St. Andrew led to the approval of those currently sold at agricultural shops. Extension officer Glenville Lambert welcomes the initiative since, as farmers, they are impacted by climate change. He suggests that having information on the different crops will augur well for farmers. I used to introduce new varieties, but we need to be able to have information on it. We need to know its behavior, you understand? Mm -hmm. What is susceptible to in terms of pests and disease, you know? Mm -hmm. Before we could actually tell a farmer, well, look, this is a good variety or this is not a good variety. It's good to introduce it, but we need, we need to do and feel experiment. Okay. Lambert also supports the idea of intercropping, but recommends that farmers follow a crop rotation plan. Christina John, GBN News.